Hello everyone and welcome to our video demonstration on how to complete your performance review self-appraisal. In this short video, we will help you navigate through your self-service account with the aim of completing your performance review self-assessment. You will see that the process is simple and straightforward. The purpose of this process to is to enhance the communication channels between you and your manager, ensuring that you celebrate your achievements uncover any areas requiring further development and proactively focus on your professional development goals for the future. Please treat this demonstration as a guide only as your organization may conduct their performance review processes slightly differently. Now, let's meet Joe. For this demonstration, the example employee will be Joe, who is a business support officer in the head office of Sandwich Eats, a popular food chain. This example business, Sandwich Eats, is conducting their internal performance reviews using Enable HR's online performance appraisal, otherwise known as OPR. Joe will need to conduct his self-assessment. His manager will also conduct an assessment of Joe's performance. And at the end of the process, both Joe and his manager can review and discuss the combined performance review report. Once HR has launched the performance review process, you will receive an email notification notifying you that there is a self-appraisal that you need to complete from within your self-service account. In this example, there is a welcome message from HR confirming details for the performance review process and who to contact if there are any further questions. This message will either disappear once expired or you can simply dismiss the message to remove it from your notice board. After reading this message, you will notice that there is an inbox notification waiting for you to action. When you click on the notification, it will take you to the performance review area. From here, you will commence your self-assessment task. Click view task and performance reviews. You will first be informed as to the performance review period that is being reviewed. In this example, Joe's performance is being reviewed for the period between the 1st of July, 2019 and the 30th of June, 2020. Once you click on the first KRA button, you are then prompted to rate your own performance based on the detailed KPIs and provide context for each rating using the comments box. Let's do one together. First one is adaptability. And here are a list of the key performance indicators. You'll notice that there is a rating scale and Joe is selecting often exceeds expectations. When you provide a self-assessment for each key result area, it is recommended that you provide as much information as possible. For example, you can explain why you gave yourself a particular rating and provide examples of your work or provide metrics or statistics that back up that claim. You can input whatever you think is relevant to the KRA. As a tip, this is automatically saved so your work doesn't get lost if you do need to come back to it later. As we work through each of the assigned key result areas, you'll notice that you may be asked for a rating scale, a comment, or both. Let's complete the rest together. Ah, here is one without a rating scale, but you'll notice that the comment is required. In this case, Joe will enter in the relevant comments for this development goal. And this leads us on to objectives. This is an example of an objective regarding improving communication that has been set in the previous performance review round. If you don't have any objectives linked to your account, this area will be blank. Once you have finished all your ratings and comments, which I will just update now, you can hit review and submit. From this page, it provides a summary of your self-assessment and will allow you to complete any missed items or amend and update any ratings or comments as needed. In this case, let's assume that you are happy with your ratings and comments and therefore can now submit your self-appraisal. This is the end of the first part of your self-assessment. Now for step two, where you receive the initial performance review summary and meet with your assessor. 
to receive the final performance review document. Once your manager has completed their assessment of your performance, an initial performance review summary report will be emailed to you. Here's the email. This can also be accessed from the me and my performance reviews from your self-service account. Within this email, there is the performance review summary report where both you and your manager's comments and ratings are displayed together. Generally, the next step in the performance review is for you to meet with your manager to discuss the report and agree on any professional development objectives and goals for the future. As part of this meeting, you and your manager may also agree on a final rating for each accessible item, which your manager inputs into OPR, either in the meeting or after the meeting. Once this final assessment is completed by your manager, you will receive a new email with the final appraisal summary report. Remember that you can also access this report from within your self-service account. As part of the performance review process, there are often new objectives and or goals set to facilitate your professional development for the next performance review period. You can enter these objectives via self-service and these objectives will automatically prompt your manager to review, amend and approve or deny with Enable HR. These can be done through the me and the objectives development section where you can add a new objective. And the performance review process is now complete. If you do have any more questions, please contact the account administrators within your organisation, either your leadership team or your HR team members. From the team here at Enable HR, thanks for watching this online performance review training and we'll see you in the next one.